Today on Rift's Beards and Gear, we check out the Warlow Fuzz Monstrosity from Jupiter FX. When it comes to extreme tones, whether you're talking about an amplifier or a fuzz, look no further than Jupiter Effects. And today, we are gonna check out one of the raunchiest fuzz pedals I've ever tried, the Warlow. Now, before we go any further, you can consider this a sponsored video as Jupiter Effects has sent me the Warlow Fuzz to show you guys, but all thoughts and opinions are mine. So if you are new around these parts, you would know that I love overdrives and I also like fuzz pedals, specifically muff flavored fuzz pedals. Now the Warlow Fuzz Monstrosity from Jupiter FX fits that bill. It is a, you know, it's based on a big muff. You could say that. It's maybe based off of, uh, I, think, uh, I think Josh Scott said a V5 big muff with a few tweaks. This is not that, this is much, much nastier. Now, like any good muff style fuzz worth its salt, there are three controls. There's volume, tone, and sustain, the fuzz, along with a nine volt adapter. And internally, there's a switch to switch to a war rat style circuit. Now the Warlow is not a very reserved and not very polite fuzz. I would say this is probably the most aggressive uh, muff style fuzz. I've ever had in these parts, at least, and I have had my fair share of fuzz pedals in here and on this channel. This is just aggression and it's just, I don't know, it's its just a bunch of razor blades taped together with a firecracker taped to it and it gets thrown at your ears. This is awesome. So right now, let's go ahead and hear the Warlow in the context of a full mix. I will be using my 1977 Gibson RD standard uh, into the Warlow, into the front end of the Jupiter FX Omacht. Now, the Omacht is set for to be pretty clean, not crystal clean, but uh, there's a little tiny fenderish grit going on just to kind of add add to the sauce, really. So let's hear the Warlow in the context of mix. Now that we got the full mix out of the way, let's go ahead and do a playthrough of the Warlow. I will be using my 1990 Bernie Les Paul Custom loaded with the Seymour Duncan Black Winter pickup into the Warlow, again, into the front end of the Omacht. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be twisting some knobs, playing some uh, chords, doing some, uh, some doomy sledgy riffs. And uh, yeah, let's see what we come up with.
right, so what do I think? Well, if you're a fuzz pedal fan, this is a must have for you, in my opinion. Why? This isn't just a straight up clone of anything Electro Harmonix or any other company has put out. This is just, this is grittier. This is from the streets. This is not something that's uh, grown up in middle class ruled, you know, New York or something like that. This had to survive and fight for every meal it's ever had growing up. And this analogy doesn't make any sense. However, this fuzz is straight from the streets and it's awesome. It's aggressive. It's gritty. It's nasty. And I love it. And uh, now at the time of this filming, the Warlow is 139 euros, which uh, currently equates to about 157 US dollars. Not crazy expensive. Uh, yeah. If you're a fuzz fan, definitely check out the Warlow. I will link down below in the description for more information. You've been wonderful. I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.